Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, back out in the garage here again. Uh, we're gonna be working on this episode is I'm gonna work on that uh, that old crew cab. I, I got the LS there back in the corner. If you guys watched the earlier episode there, you got that engine kind of put together with a cam and stuff and ready to go. Got the, uh, got the transmission ready to go. Got that engine. I can show you guys that too, but you've seen it, I think, but it's sitting right over there. <clears throat> Anyways, got that engine transmission. So uh, I'm going to work on, uh, you know, start working on that. But first thing I got to do <clears throat> is I got to make some room. So I'm going to get this old car here, get this old Pontiac, get the front end on, get the wheels on, get the hood here. We'll get that together and uh, so we can roll it out and uh, make room. And then I also have to go ahead and uh, do a couple oil changes on some vehicles there, my kids' cars and stuff. So do a couple oil changes and then we'll uh, get that old crew cab in here and get ready to tear that baby apart and uh, see how this baby works. <music> So I got the uh, got the old nose piece on. I got the lift, got it down on the ground, and uh, we're ready to roll. So um, before I push this out, I want to show you guys something. So my nephew uh, gave them to me. Found them at the dump. Uh, they put them in the take it or leave it bin. But anyways, some uh, some old license plates. I did go ahead and just kind of put some window cleaner, just clean them ones. But we got a few here, and this old. Uh, this old Comet Continuous Hudson Comet Sprayer. But anyways, kind of a neat little thing. So just some more cool old things to put on my shelf and hang on my walls and stuff. But anyways, I appreciate them grabbing them for me from the uh, from the take it and leave it bin at the dump. So I'm just gonna clean these up quick, hang them up, and then uh, I'll show you guys this car outside. Um, we'll be able to see it in the sun, finally, just with the wheels and stuff. I mean, you know, still ways from being done, but it'd be fun to roll it out and take take a look, see what it looks like. So. Okay, there we go. Got some of them plates hung up. I'll show you uh, again over. Oh, you can't see very good, but over on the far ledge there, got some plates there as well. So, my well, can I got up on top there. But like I said, I appreciate my nephew grabbing them because he saw them in the bin there. But I also appreciate the people who uh, who didn't want them anymore, but they saw, you know, saw the need that maybe someone would. Because I sure uh, sure appreciate that, and I. Hate to see that stuff get thrown away. It'd been a shame to know it got thrown in a dumpster or steel bin. You guys ready to see something super mega retro? Let me show you guys here. Check this out. Boom. When was the last time you seen Colorado Custom billet aluminum flame steering wheel? That's that baby screams that baby screams the 90s and super mega retro. But it was a gift from my wife years ago for an old truck I have. And uh, I used it for a lot, of, a long, long time. And I'll hang on to it forever because it's, uh, it's awesome. It's just, uh, just a little dated. It's probably uh, not unlike me. So, But uh, yeah, let's push this car out and see it outside. And then we'll, uh, it's that time of the year. It's lots of fluff. I can show you guys. Lots of fluff blowing around. Kind of messing with my allergies a little. But um, we'll roll this car out, see what it looks like outside. And, uh, oh yeah, and then we'll get to work on that old uh, crew cab. Very excited to get that baby together. So here we go. So I had to get Max and his friend to help me push it out, but here we go. See what this baby looks like outside in the sun. There we go. Looking pretty good. Hoping we can 
drop that back just a little bit, but I also think the front has to come up a smidge to ride height, but I like it. It's looking uh, looking pretty gangster. Can't wait here to hear this thing, uh, hear this hear this baby roaring. But uh, anyways, there we go. Go ahead and tidy up a little bit, and we'll get to work on this uh, old crew cab. All right, everyone. So got uh, distracted here. I, I decided, well, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It looks like it might rain tonight even, but. So then I decided to go ahead and mow my, uh, take care of my dandelion crop. So I got that all, uh, got that all tidied up. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to do, like I said, service a couple things here. I'm going to service my little mower and change the oil on a couple cars and stuff. And then we'll get on this old crew cab here. But I uh, just want to show you quick too. So, yeah, so I got my mower here. I'm going to try and rig this baby up. I think what I'm going to do to service it. I got these touching and I'm going to put a bar across, put a bar across here to the other one and it'll get in and it'll get under here. Then I'll be able to lift that up and that's what I'll do. I'll lift that up, service it quick, give the oil change and stuff like that. Clean the, clean the deck out and, uh, and, uh, that baby will be working real good for a long time here. So, but, uh, that's it for tonight. Just cause I had said I had to go mow. I, I don't know. It takes me about three hours or so to mow my, mow my lawn and mow along the driveway and stuff too. So. But uh, anyways, I'm happy I got it done before it rains, and I'll be back out after work tomorrow for sure, and we'll be, uh, we'll be doing more stuff here. Hopefully uh, do a quick oil change and stuff, and we'll be on to this crew cab. Hopefully. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and got all my chores done. Got my little tractor service there, or my, uh, say my tractor, my mower. Got my little mower serviced and a couple other little things there. So now we're ready to, uh, now we're ready to get this, installed done here um well I'll start working on it anyway so i'll get that old uh dually fired up and get it in here luckily enough it uh still runs it rattles it makes some serious noise it's not happy but it uh runs enough to get it in here because it's uh it's a it'd be a little bit of a pickle uh, to um you know to have to muscle around so i'll get that in here and we'll get started on it um just ripping and tearing we'll get uh get as much tore apart as we can get the you know get see if we can get that engine and transmission stuff out of there this this truck too. I'm gonna to pull the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the seat out of it too because I have to. Well, just to give me more room because I'm gonna to have to relocate the shifter hole just a little bit. But uh, and then we'll see. Hopefully, I can get a. Hopefully, I can get a new carpet for it too to, you know, to hide that, the hole. Oh, I mean, I could fix the hole in the floor, but the uh, the the hole that's gonna be in that carpet there. So, um. Anyways, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get that seat tore out of there as well. So. Let's get that baby rolled in here and get to work on it. Okay, we got it in here. Um, it's getting worse. It's getting worse fast. So that might, this might be the last, well, it is anyways, but because we're going to tear it out. But, uh, but yeah, this might have been the last little, what it would be, a hundred foot trip it had left in it. So it's really knocking now. So, but anyways, we'll get this. Uh, I'm going to start by pulling the seat out, like I said, and stuff. So, I'll just uh, I'll just get to work here, start ripping and tearing. I got uh, I got carried away. So there we go. Got this baby. I went ahead and gutted it. I love this. I love this old truck. This baby is sweet. I'm getting pretty excited about getting it back together. It's in such great shape. But I am gonna go ahead and put a piece of dyno mat and stuff down. I'm gonna lift these out. These ones lift out. I'm gonna salvage them because they're in great shape. I'll lift them out gently. The front piece was rock, rock wrecked. It was all mucky, but, uh, and this one seems to be stuck down. Sorry, show you guys here. This one's stuck down. So I'm going to leave him, just clean it up. And this back one lifts out as well. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lift them out when it's time to clean that cab out. And I'll get it good and clean. I want to put a little, you know, a little bit of dyno mat in there. Um, just to, uh, just to keep it nice and quiet, but we'll go ahead and get it on the lift here. Um, and start tearing, probably tear the exhaust and stuff like that off first. I'll show you quick. Uh, oh yeah. So here's the. Here's all the carnage, all my seat, seat belt, stuff like that. But the main thing was so that I could get this out because the new one, I just roughly measured, it's going to be back just a little bit. So I'll have to deal with that when the time comes. But yeah, looking forward to get this. The other thing is to trim, you know, I wish I was, uh, you know, that'll have to be another project. I just have to, uh, you know, save my money up. I wish I could just afford to buy everything and just do everything at once. But uh but I can't, I got too many things on the go and stuff. So 
But uh, hopefully I'll have some new carpet to put in here and, uh, and that'll take care of that center hole. That's the main thing. So let's go ahead and get this on the lift and uh, get, uh, keep working because we got to get it done. Drive this old girl. Well, this poor old girl stays are numbered this engine wise like i said i don't know if you guys could hear that but it's getting real loud i showed you too so this baby with these west coasters it just fits past the beauty of that is it lines it up for you you know how sometimes when you pull into a lift you're like ah i'm too far to one side there's no guessing with this one if those mirrors clear you're centered so okay so i got it up in the air here i'm going to start like i said about uh with just Nothing's in the way, so I should be able to drop this whole exhaust out in one, that's the plan anyways, one chunk. Get the transmission drained, and I can get the drive shaft off. I'll probably drain, train the oil, train the coolant, and I can work on getting this out of here, but start with exhaust. Okay, that was uh, not so bad, just about a disaster, but got that exhaust out. I'll go ahead and keep on moving. This old girl had some, I put these on because the these headers, because the uh, original ones were rotted out, but those are nice old ceramic coated headers. Maybe you do something with them one day. Just going to show you guys probably in the uh, mechanic life hack handbook this is probably the oldest hack in the world here um electric tape around your u-joints so your cup you know so your cups don't fall off like i said i heard that when i was i was probably five years old i think i heard that the first time but anyways i'll just uh, keep on plugging away all right i got the headers off no big deal had to lift it pull it out the bottom and then i got the uh i got the coolant draining this is one of the best I caught. I got a big old tray there. I caught a lot. Still spilling some, but I'm going to let it keep dripping. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do quick, though, is I got the heater hoses off as well. I'm going to take my handy air hose, and I'm going to blow back through them, maybe flush some of it out so that when I lift this out, uh, I don't spill as much. But uh, it's worth a try anyways. So, I'll uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and blow some of this out of here. I've been pinning it out here. I got my, uh, I got Barbie and Lily to come help me lift the hood off. I've done it before myself, but it is a pickle and you risk, I, I lay towels and stuff, but it's risky. But anyways, also I did, uh, I'll show you guys. I did go ahead and pop that transmission out the bottom. You can see it there on my stand. So we'll get rid of that little fella. And that's going to be the new one. Getting rigged up here now. I'll get all rigged up and we'll pull this engine out and see what we're looking at i do have to I, th I think once it's out and stuff i will go ahead and clean things up a bit and and just get it got prep get get ready for that other engine but and then the other problem i got here just a little bit i don't think it'll be too big of a problem but this truck is so long to get balanced on the hoist it has to be so close to my bench so then that makes it hard to uh doesn't leave me much room 
doesn't leave me much room to go ahead and uh, you know move the stand and stuff. But we'll get by. We'll get her done. I'll get rigged up here. All right, this is it. Don't get scared now. That's from Home Alone. Okay, we did it. It's out. Like I said, I'll clean that up a little bit. I'll tidy that wiring up. I got to get rid of that clutch. You know, that clutch linkage and stuff. And that power steering pump, that's going to go too. But the uh, the fitting, now that I'm, I'm clear of everything, it was just really hard to get at. So hopefully I can get it now. But uh, yeah, heck yeah. We're going to put that six liter in here putting that baby in there before we know it. So, hey, what's up everyone? Uh, back home from work here. So back on this old truck, we're gonna see if we can get this engine set in. Well, what I did so far, I'll show you what you guys did so far. So, so far I just kind of cleaned up because I had a big mess going on. Got my uh, engine up here. And then I went ahead and uh, I'll show you guys when I get it down, but I went ahead and uh, just tidied up some of the wiring, um, the factory wiring, just cleaned it up, got some out of the way because um, a lot of that goes away with this uh, little harness kit that I use. Um, so, uh, but what I'm gonna do now, and then, oh yeah, so then I'll show you guys here. So I think about making these all the time for myself, but these little fellas here I buy off Amazon, they're like $38 or something, they're cheap, because it reutilizes your kind of, your, your uh, reutilizes your clamshells. And then I, uh, I had these out in the shed. These are just a little better shape than the ones that are in there. The other ones were a little, the rubber was a little deformed and stuff, so. We'll go ahead and use them too. So I'm going to go ahead and get them mounted in the engine, these uh, mounts to the, to the to the frame there, and because uh, I'm going to try to use this, I'm going to I want to set this engine in because I want to see if I can use the mechanical fan, see if it lines up with my shroud and stuff. So that's what I'm going to work on right now is just trying to set this all in there and see if it lines up with my shroud, and then uh, if everything looks good that way, we'll go ahead and uh, start installing everything. So um, let's get after it. So. Try to do this with one hand here. So, so these guys basically they just they go on there, and then you can relocate your your factory mount. So go ahead, and it comes with these these countersink and stuff. I put a little I put a little Loctite on them, but uh, there we go. I put a little Loctite on them, and we'll go ahead and get that mounted up. All right, so I got rigged. I'm hoping this is going to lift high enough. I'm not sure if it will. We'll see. Um, and then you can see here I got my. Uh, Got my motor mounts put in, and you can kind of see some wiring that I pulled out of the side. There was that big gob of wiring there, so I cleaned that up, and uh, should be ready to roll. Lift this baby up, see if it lifts high enough. Okay, everyone, here's what I got going on. So it didn't uh, lift high enough, so I had to get some chains, but we're high enough now. This uh, this old lift, it works good, but it. Uh, it, it actually uh, gasses a guy jacking it up. It takes about five minutes to lift. It's like a, an eighth of an inch per, per pump of the handle. So, But anyways, I got it up there. Let's start lowering this baby in. Okay, I went ahead and uh, I got this baby set in there. It's looking real good. I, I think I like it where the, the mounts are. I think I like them ahead because I did go ahead and set this in with the shroud. That's where that'll sit. You can see the fan is just tucked. I think it's going to be good. 
Um, the engine is going to tilt back just a little bit more. I just got to pull it out and, and, and I got to grind that manifold just a little bit to clear the frame. And then, uh, but otherwise I think they're looking good. I'm going to go ahead and let this baby out. And then what I'm going to do too is uh, I'll go ahead and put the, put the harness and the sensors and kind of the stuff that's really hard to get at. And I'll put the, you know, the clutch I can get after, but yeah, I'll just kind of put the stuff that's really hard to get at on the backside. You know, some of them grounds are hard to, hard to reach after. Although I do have a ton of room. I don't think I'll have a problem at all. I got so much room. This is going to be nice. I think I did mention that I was going to uh, change out the sensors and stuff. So what I've decided to do is I use this auto meter kit. It's the, the 5284 installation kit. So what it does for me is it gives you, so on the, the, the passenger side of the back, so the one for the, for the LS is in the front here, and I need that guy for the computer, but I need something to run my gauge. So this was a spare port back here. What it does is it, it gives you the, the, the partial sweep um, single wire deal to run your gauge. And then what it also does is give you the adapter to, to set up your, uh, well, this truck, the original oil pressure sender. So, so now my original gauges should work, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep getting ready here and then we'll, uh, plug this in and see if we can, while it was in the air too, I did measure the, because I kept that engine forward. This is going to, I think this is going to work out real good. I like how the shroud sat with the fan. And I measured, and I not I might not have to cut. I might have to just that it might fit that hole. It might fit the shifter hole. So pretty excited about that. We'll see. See what happens. I guess I'll uh, finish up a couple things, and we'll set this baby back in here, anyways. Okay, I got this engine set back in here. I did, like I said, the couple things I wanted to do, but uh, I'll show you guys here. The back supported with a with a rat to strap, just so it doesn't tilt too far. So now I can go ahead and. Uh, mock up that transmission. Maybe I'll just go ahead and get the transmission on my jack and see how it's going to fit. I'll go ahead and lift this jack up. We'll get her tucked up in there and see how we're looking. I'd have to tilt that engine just a little bit to, you know, see where it's going to line up. I'm really hoping my measurements said they're real close, but we'll see. get this starter, starter out of the way. Okay, let me show you guys here. So look at that. We're so close. I mean, I guess it's probably going to bump up through there. So you can see that. That's probably going to bump up through there too. So I'm going to take kind of a measurement up. We'll have to notch that out because we are flanged up against here pretty much it's gonna line up there so we'll have the knots that out probably um just guessing about an inch inch and a half or something so i'll go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and straight edge that and kind of mark it just so i don't cut more than i have to but it is what it is and then uh see if we can get that tucked in there see what it looks like and we'll uh get it all mounted up okay so i marked it from underneath like i said um and then I deemed it to be about, well, not a boat. I decided to go with inch and a half back. So what I'm going to do is I got a, I'm a tape measure and I got this disc that's inch and a, uh, sorry. It's the same size as the hole. I don't know if you guys can see that. Same size as the hole. So I'm going to measure back an inch and a half. And then that'll give me my, then I can keep that radius and I'll just square it off. But that's what I'll go ahead and do. And then I'm going to cut it out with my, uh, cut it out with my little jigsaw there so all right well, i think it's time to get a new sharpie but anyways and then i'll just square these off like that and then i think what i'm probably going to do to fix this later is i'm going to build a plate then so here's the plate that came off so it matches that you know obviously fits on that hole so now that i move it back well it you know it it darn near covers that <laughs> well it does but not where the screw goes so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to build a plate that's uh that fits this but comes in just a little bit 
then I can just sandwich the whole thing and then the center of it will be this, you know, this size again or this size, I guess, but and then uh, should be pretty good. And I, I, I do have another carpet because this carpet had a couple issues, had a little scrub marks in it and stuff. And it'd be nice to have a new carpet anyways. But, uh, and then I was worried about the hole, but this would, this would darn near cover that. But I got a new one coming anyway. So I'll get my little jigsaw, I'll cut that out and uh, we'll see if we can stuff that transmission in there. All right, there we go. Got the hole made a little bigger. Let's see if we can get this thing wrestled back up in there. I'm going to go ahead and you know, I think I can lower this hoist a bit. That's kind of dangerous doing it with one hand like that. But anyways, we're doing good here. We'll go ahead and uh, get this lifted up here and start to get her lined up. Okay, I just want to show you guys what I got going on here. So, oh, that light is bright there. So that can help. So you can see that fits in there nice. The height is good. Um, and this, I've been, I've been fiddling with this uh, cross member a little bit. And it's going to work just fine. It's going to bolt up back to its original spot. It's going to be great. It'll have the braces. Nice big arch for the exhaust to go through. The only thing I got to do is uh, this has a single pin. Uh, there you can see. Single pin. This one, this cross member, I don't know if I can show you, has a double. There you go. So I'm just going to, I just got to drill a hole right in the center. I'll, me I'll measure that out, drill a hole. Then I can bolt that baby up. Um, but I do have to take this all out again to put the clutch and all that stuff back in and then uh, Then I could start putting it in but I'm real happy. I only moved that back that hole back a ha an inch and a half And I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I'll see hopefully My drive shaft ain't too far out of whack and then we'll get this baby uh, Get this baby rolling that'll that'll make the process go a little quicker if I don't have to uh, Muck around with the drive shaft so I did have to trim out can see there I did have to trim that out just a little bit to clear that housing I'm um, looking good I might just buff this corner just a little more to make it a little more symmetrical but there it is sitting all on its own I like it it's working out real well I'll be curious to see I'll kind of throw that drive shaft up there and see but let me lower this down and I'll show you that shifter inside and uh, see what it looks like So yeah, there you go. That's about the height the other one was, so this is working out real well. It's kind of crazy, I always find, how much stuff of that crosses over, you know, a 40, 50 year different vehicle. But a lot of it, uh, General Motors, you know, kind of kept the, the similar pr uh, premise anyway. So take a quick look here. There we go. Oh, like these wires too are the ones, like I said, some of them I don't need. I got them marked here a little bit with some tape and stuff, but some are for the sensors, some are some power so starter signal and stuff, but a lot of them I don't need, so I'll probably get rid of them, but there it is sitting in there. Takes up much less room than that big block, but uh, puts out some more power. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit and uh, kind of regroup, and I'll be back out here after work tomorrow and uh, see what else we get done. Um, Hopefully, maybe get that drive shaft kind of up in there, see if that's going to fit, work for me, because then I can go ahead and start getting it uh, adjusted lengthwise. So, uh, if anything, it's maybe a little too long right now. So, maybe I can just get it shortened and check on that uh, offset uh, U joint. So, anyways, see you guys tomorrow after work. Out in the shop here. I've actually been out here for a little while. I'll show you what I did. I just went ahead and we talked about it yesterday, but I went ahead and pulled the transmission back out because we we're good with it and put the clutch and stuff in. Got my cable for the roll bearing. Like I said, we trimmed that up, got her all mounted, got the uh, brackets all back in, so that's going to be tough. But uh, yeah, so we can go ahead. I think what I'll do now quick is I'll, I'm just going to take that front drive shaft to the steady bearing. I'll just hold it up there and see if I can uh, get an idea roughly where that drive shaft's going to be so I can get that underway. And then uh, I think I'll lower it down quick and I, I think I can throw the fan and the rad and stuff in and maybe get a little start on the exhaust or at least show you guys what uh, what I'm planning on doing with that anyway so okay let me show you guys quick here 
Um, yeah, I still, I'm going to have to, so I got my steady bearing mounted up. Double check that. But yeah, so I got to, I'm going to have to shorten that drive shaft. Um, I'll get a tape measure, but it's looking like maybe, maybe two inches. So <clears throat> I'll measure that for sure. And we'll get that baby shortened. And I did mention before, but I got to make sure, see if I can get an offset U joint so that that couples to that yoke. And then we're laughing, but, uh, I'll leave that for now. That's no big deal because I want to measure that up. But uh, I'll show you guys kind of what I'm going to do with the exhaust. It seems to work for me. It's time consuming, but I'll take the uh, original style flanges. You can see one there, see one up there. So I take them, uh, clean them up, obviously, cut them straight and stuff. And then I take this, uh, these U-bends. I've got a few of them. And then I just kind of pie cut them. <clears throat> Just kind of pie cut them however I got to to get the exhaust to flow. And then in this case, what I'm going to do somewhere back here, I'm going to take this. I got this off of Amazon. I'm going to take this baby and put a, you know, put an X pipe in it and then get the exhaust, you know, out the back. It's a real long truck. It's going to be a big old long straight piece, I'm hoping, um, to get it out the back. But it uh, should be pretty good. It, it, like I said, it is, it is very time consuming it. Uh, doing it this way but um i don't mind it it, it, it it goes quicker than you think once you get weld and it, it's not that bad actually it's just the cutting and, and piecing together and stuff and then uh then i end up with a true like a true mandrel type exhaust without the uh you know without the custom super expensive um, i'm sure there's places i've never took them on to a shop but i'm sure there's places you can go that'll do that for you in this case i'm going three inch Oops, sorry about that so i'm going three inch the whole way on this one so hopefully it sounds pretty good and it'll be nice and long so hopefully it gets the sound out the back but um and then i'll put uh not 100 sure i'm going to end it back here yet though i'm not sure sneak it down maybe just tuck it out the uh, bumper a little bit with the tip or out the corner i'm not 100 sure i'll see how it flows good that's what i'll do anyways and uh hopefully it sounds good keeps the sound out the back and Runs nice, sounds good, but I'm going to go ahead and lower this down and get, you know, do a little bit of work under the engine, get that rat in and stuff, and and then I'll, uh, before I end for the day, I'll get that drive shaft measured so I can get that baby shortened to the right length, but um, let's get this baby lowered and, and do a little bit under the hood there. <clears throat> I'm real happy how this fits. This is real nice. I think it's going to be good. It's fitting... Just the room and stuff is just fitting better than I thought it would. Gonna be, it's going to be a little tight here for an elbow, but I don't think that's an issue. I think if I remember correctly, that other truck too, they make tight little elbows. <clears throat> Should be no problem. Um, let me see if I can get that fan in there. So some people might wonder why, I don't know, maybe not, but um, why maybe it didn't go with electric fans or something like that. But so this truck, I kind of want it to be like a, like if you were to buy a new work truck today, you know, just uh, reliable, just runs good. And that's why, and it's a standard truck. That's why I wanted to keep it a standard truck too. And I'll, uh, I'll show you guys the way I, the way I use this this I found out too that the original the original uh, cable that fits these fits the firewall and then you can actually if it's drive by cable then you can hook it to your original pedal you I, from that other truck I did you do have to shorten it an inch inside to get it to, you know the right length otherwise you get the you know so you get your full stroke so so then I can keep the original pedal and that works out real nice. And then the other thing I'm going to do too is to keep it original, the old school look, I'm, I, I did take the shifter rod off and I'm going to, and I'm going to mount it to the, uh, to this transmission so that it has that and use the original boot and stuff so that it has the original old school look, right? I think it'll look real good. Well, and then you won't know, right? You won't know it has an LS and it'll just, well, hopefully it'll just run good and maybe get a little more mileage, have a little more power, all that good stuff, right? So that's what I'm hoping for anyways.
So yeah, so I'll go ahead and just make sure I get that fan. I'll just snug it up a little. But look at that. I cannot, like I said, I said it before, but I can't believe, I can't believe this stuff just fits. You know, these trucks are 30, 40 years apart, whatever they are, but the stuff kind of fits. It's pretty awesome. All right, everyone. So I'll show you a few things that I just kind of did, just little things I've been mocking with because I'm about, uh, this is about actually all I got for this video. I got to get this to the, uh, to the editor, which is actually my wife. So, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, be nice to get you guys more content per video, but you know, it just is what it is. I work, I do what I can. So I'll keep on trucking, but I'll show you a couple things I like to do. So like the little guard by the starter, little guard there. I kind of like to do that stuff. Um, it probably helps keeps the junk out of that bell housing and stuff kind of keeps it factory looking too, right? So it kind of makes the install, I mean, you don't really see this. It just is what it is down here, but makes that stuff all just a little bit nicer. So I'll get this lower down and I'll show you how I just got the top there looking okay, too. Okay, I'll show you guys here the, uh, the engine here. I just was putting some stuff like, you know, the heater hoses, stuff like that, the rads in. Um, so yeah, so I just threw this cover on and stuff too. So that's kind of, you know, it kind of looks, it's a little dirty, but it'll clean up once I, you know, once I get it to the car wash and maybe put some engine bright on and stuff. But um, really like how it's looking. It's going to kind of look factory. I might, I've seen guys um, do it before and, and I always wanted to do it. And I'm probably, I'm going to do it with that, that Pontiac over there also. But what I might do is I might end up building a nice cover, you know, that covers the coils and everything. Just makes it look a little tidier. I'm not sure yet. This kind of does look like a factory thing, but. The, uh, I don't know, the Denali's and stuff, they got the little covers that cover the coils and stuff and just make that engine bay look a little cleaner. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, that's all I got for this video, but I got to, I have to do the exhaust yet. I have to do some wiring, um, fuel, a couple, you know, I got to put the fuel pumps in, run some lines, do that stuff. Then I got to throw the interior and stuff back together, which isn't a big deal, but, oh, and intake, I do got to, I do got to find an intake and I'll get a, you know, a filter and stuff, make that happen. So. I still have a little bit to do, um, and hopefully, uh, I'm getting pretty excited. I miss, I miss driving this old truck. It's, it, it is a blast to drive. It's a real hoot, and uh, I'm hoping with this stuff, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll be even nicer. And I, it might even, uh, it might even rip pretty good. So um, that's the plan, anyway. So thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.